Several Republican presidential hopefuls are taking the stage in Miami tonight for the third GOP debate. And once again, the candidate polling ahead of all these contenders will not be squaring off against them. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former Governors Chris Christie and Nikki Haley all qualified for tonight's debate. Senator Tim Scott and entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy also qualified. Now, for the third time, Donald Trump has chosen not to take to the debate stage. A recent CBS News poll finds the former president maintains, nonetheless, a commanding lead over his Republican rivals. To break all this down, Cory Gardner joins us now. He is a former Republican senator for the state of Colorado, and he currently serves as the co-chair of the Trump, or Trust in the Mission Super PAC, which supports Tim Scott's presidential bid. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Cory. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, your super PAC abruptly announced last month that it was canceling millions in television ads for Tim Scott because of Donald Trump's commanding lead in the GOP race. So uh, given all that, how do you feel about the senator's candidacy going into tonight's debate? Yeah, I feel very good about him and the plan going into the debate to share with the American people his ideas for opportunity for every corner and part of this country. And look, we made a decision based on voters in Iowa. They're not making their decision yet on who to vote for. Uh, what we've seen in Iowa traditionally year after year, caucus after caucus, uh, is a late-breaking electorate. Uh, that's what we anticipate happening again this year, and that's why we decided it was smarter for us to hold, hold money uh, for when those voters are actually making a decision on who they're going to vote for. And when they do that. I believe the electorate, the faith-based electorate, the evangelical community, uh, so many uh, people across rural Colorado, will, uh, rural Iowa, will see the opportunities that Tim Scott has created uh, for people across this country and indeed vote for him uh, to prevail in the caucus in Iowa in January. So you're saying it isn't about any loss of faith uh, in Senator Tim Scott, but it is about former President Trump's successfully maintaining his lead in the GOP race in all these poll numbers. Why do you think that is, and as particularly in the midst of this myriad of legal cases that he's been contending with? Well, I don't know if it's about the, the strength of uh, Donald Trump. I think it's more about the Iowa electorate as they wait and see who they're going to vote for. Right now, we've seen polls that show uh, President Trump well under 50 percent in Iowa, meaning that more than half of the voters who plan on voting in the Iowa caucuses are open to somebody else. Uh, and, but they're just not making that decision. What we've seen is just a, a horse race jockeying a point here, a point there. Uh, when we engage in Iowa, which we're directing our attention now on the ground, it's not like we've disappeared from Iowa. We're actually redirecting on the ground, advocacy, grassroots, Roots uh, development in Iowa. Uh, once we go back on the air, as voters make their mind up, they're going to vote for the candidate with the positive message, the optimistic message for America, not the people who have been the leading contenders right now that have been involved in the slugfest across the airways. Hmm. Corey, what if anything can Tim Scott and other Republicans taking the stage tonight do to narrow those gaps between themselves and former President Trump? They are sizable gaps. Yeah. I think if you look at the stage tonight, you have a number of candidates who were made by or created by Donald Trump or because of Donald Trump. Tim Scott is the only candidate on the stage who can say uh, he is there on his own accord. He's there because of uh, his leadership in South Carolina, in the United States Senate. He's there because uh, of the people who have such a, a positive opinion uh, of him across the country. And so I think he has to highlight that tonight. He has to highlight why he will lead with strength and optimism, why he can make America feel good about itself again. And I think that's what the American people want to see. So uh, we can talk about where Donald Trump is. We can talk about the other candidates who uh, rose in the shadow of Donald Trump, but we can also talk about Tim Scott, who is there, because he is the leader that this country needs, and he will go on to beat Joe Biden in November. All right, former Senator Cory Gardner, thank you.